Okay, so we're doing a shock upgrade on the 2002 2500 HD today. Uh, I went to Summit Racing, got a set of Pro Comp, some of their MX6 monotube adjustable shocks. Actually, I've got these are the rear ones. And I ordered uh, ones for the front also, but these are the wrong ones. They sent the wrong ones, so I gotta send these back and we'll have to get the new ones. They say they found the, the right ones, so I gotta send that back today and get the right ones. But uh, the shocks that I had on the truck before are, uh, it's a super lift six inch lift kit, so they're super lift shocks. I'm not sure what 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 model they are but they are a uh, a twin tube design shock and the the shocks that i have here are monotube gas charged so these are going to be much better for off-roading much better i think for the bigger tires and just in general a much better shock for the application uh, these twin tube shocks are good for, I guess, OEM soft uh, ride applications. I just don't think they can control these 35s, 18s and 35s. So this is why I'm going to give this a shot, see what, uh, what the deal is. Also, it's an adjustable shock. There's a little deal down here. And you can adjust it from firmer to softer. So... Apparently there's there's six settings there, so we'll we'll give that a try. Try it on the softest. Try it on the firmest. See what happens. Um, and another thing is this is a gas charged shock. This twin tube is not gas charged, and I'm going to show you the difference in those shocks right now. Okay, so what's the difference in the gas charged and the not gas charged shock? Well, um, this is the difference. This is the Procomp MX6 monotube gas charge shock. And when I compress the shock, when I compress it, you can see it rebounds all by itself. Now I have the super lift shocks that came with it. Again, I'm not sure what model they are, but these are a twin tube. They are not gas charged. And when you compress the shock, it does not rebound all by itself because it is not gas charged. There's no pressure in there. One other thing with the monotube gas charged shock is uh, it's probably going to give you a little firmer ride because, again, it's under pressure and it's constantly putting pressure on the, on the shock. Whereas the twin tube does not put pressure. Uh, the twin tube is used in a lot of OEM cars, I guess, for that softer ride. But I just don't think it's controlling the big 35s like a gas-charged monotube shock will. But we're going to find out. Uh, I'm going to get these on the rear. Like I said, the front ones, are, they messed up. I don't have the front ones. I really wanted to do four shocks here, but all I got is the rear right now. So I'm going to get them installed, and we'll see how the ride goes. We'll see if that takes care of the issue that I've been having with this, with this lift kit. Okay, so another thing about a twin tube shock is it has to be mounted a certain way, certain direction. The monotube gas charged can really be mounted anyway and actually they, they want you mounting this, this adjuster on the bottom which is where the piston is which is actually the opposite of what these uh, super lift shocks were. The piston was on the top side. So uh, and then another tip on these uh, the other shock, I snipped the strap to show you guys uh, the difference between a gas charged and a not gas charged. Don't do that. 
Um, I had a heck of a time getting that shock back in there. I, I actually used zip ties, a whole bunch of them, to hold the shock uh, while I stuck it in there. But there's a reason they gave you this strap on here. It's so you can install it easier. You install your top mount, uh, you snip the strap, get it in your bottom mount. So I'm going to get this other shock in here so we can go for a test drive. So there they are installed guys. You can see the piston sides down. That is also where the adjuster is on the bottom there. You can't do that with a twin tube shock. I got them set on the softest setting right now. So we'll go see what that feels like. Then we'll firm them up. Uh, I've also lowered the tire pressure to 55 PSI all the way around. So we will see what uh, this feels like. Okay, out driving with the shocks on the softest setting. I can already tell a difference, guys. The, the rear feels like it's, it's more under control than with those other shocks. Um, a monotube gas charge shock is a big improvement over the twin tube shocks. Uh, I'm going to go do uh, three more clicks in the rear to stiffen it up a little bit. See if we can't get a little more control on the, those big tires. Okay, so we're back in the shop here making some adjustments. Uh, my road with the shocks, three clicks firmer and seems like it, it's helping a little bit but I'm just not sure I've gone down to now 50 psi all the way around on the tires so I'm gonna give that a try and we'll see how that works out So 50 PSI in the shocks on the middle setting. You know, every time I lower the air pressure, it seems like it's helping a little bit. But now at 50 PSI, I really don't like the low speed feel of the tires. Feels like I can feel the lugs a lot more. And I didn't think it was possible, but they sound even louder at 50 PSI. So, I mean, I like them at 55. That's where I think they feel the best. So I'm going to go back to 55. I'm going to adjust the shocks to the firmest setting. We'll see how that goes. And uh, I'll, I'll be back in here. We'll, we'll see what happens. Okay, so here's the adjuster. We're going to go three clicks firmer. So we're going to go one two, three, that should be on the firmest setting now. Okay, so back from that ride, and it's actually the best it's ever felt. Those shocks at the firmest setting, and air pressure at 55 PSI all the way around. But it's still there, I still feel it. Okay, so I finally got my front uh, Pro Comp MX-6 shocks. Um, you can see I've got the two shocks here. Um, I'll explain this in a second. Um, these are the super lift shocks that I'm replacing. The twin tube non-gas charge shocks. And these are the Pro Comp adjustable shocks. And you can see this is the original style mount on a Chevy truck. And this is, I guess, how, how uh, Pro Comp is, is going to do the mount. They got this adapter thing. And then they uh, bolt onto the shock. 
And then the, the bottom mount's the same as a factory. So there's the bracket there. They just got kind of a bracket and a, a bolt welded onto it. So, and again, these are adjustable. Six adjustments on this with a knob. And I'm gonna play with that again, like I did on the other video. Play with it, see how I like it. Uh, I've got the rears on the stiffest setting, and I feel like that's that's the best option. That's how I like the feel of it. So we'll play with these front ones too. We'll get them on, and like I said, uh, simple installation, guys. You got your bracket, and you you bolt them on. Um, Right here, what I've done is I got a two big zip ties compressing the shock. So I can just slide the shock in there, uh, bolt it on. I cut the, the zip tie and it'll go into place there and I won't have to struggle trying to compress the shock because this is gas charged, like I said, and it's very difficult to get any kind of leverage to kind of compress it. So something like this is uh, kind of what you need to do. So I'm going to get these in. Okay, so the design of this mounting system, I'm having to put a screwdriver in here while I turn and tighten up that nut. Um, honestly, I wish they just would have designed the shock right with the stem on it would have been a whole lot easier because now I got to, after I get done tightening this one, I got to tighten this one down here. And it's just kind of a pain. I just wish, for the amount I, I spent on these shocks, I think they should have had a, a specific shock made for this application. So there it is installed. And like I said, the design of this is just kind of uh, not very good. Uh, it's hard to get a wrench in here to tighten this bolt up. And uh, it just should have had a regular stem, a factory style stem on there. But they're installed. Um, I can't wait to feel what they ride like. I think they're gonna ride really good. I think it's gonna be a big improvement. Um, like I said, I got these set in the softest setting, but I'll probably end up on the firmest setting like the like the rear is But um, we'll see So I have the fronts on the middle setting and I have the rears on the firmest setting And I feel like that's given me the best feel or the feel that I like uh, The ride it's a probably stiffer ride than with those other shocks but I feel like the truck has more control like the tires are staying in contact with the road a lot better than with the other shocks um, I really like these shocks and I would I would recommend these shocks to anybody they're a little on the spendy side about a hundred dollars I think each shock so they're not cheap but um, they are a better shock than a twin tube and um, I'm really enjoying them on this truck right now so glad I did the upgrade uh, it did not fix my issue where I feel like the truck is, is going up and down. Uh, anyway, this video is about the shocks and I, I believe I've got the best combination that I'm going to get out of these shocks. And uh, I guess that's going to do it for this video guys. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Tearing down a dirt road, rebel flag flying, coon dog in the back. Earn heart sticker behind my head and my woman by my side. Tailpipes popping, the radios rocking, country boy can't survive.